and today we're going to talk about the big secret in sales that not people many people know about and I'm here to share it with you and I'm so happy that you're still here after those five days I'm seeing many people watch the replay and I'm so happy about that so the big secret to sales I believe is that the fortune is in the follow-up and even though I believe that you shouldn't chase people you shouldn't you know nag them or you know do anything to to annoy them but actually really find you know how together how you can how you can actually help each other so how you can help them and how they can help you become your clients and you know a reason how a way how to do that is so i i received many cold messages for instance mostly actually on my uh, linkedin profile and it's people that are you know most of the time you know people are uh, talking to me who are saying you know what i help business coaches get more clients and i'm like yeah but <laughs> I mean, I want to select my clients, hand select my clients. I want to know who they are and before I work with them, because it's a very personal process coaching, you know, I don't just want to work with anybody. Um, I, I really want to, them to, um, yeah, to understand me and to not be too much of a, a nag actually. And that's also what you've learned in day two uh, on Tuesday, how you can find your ideal client so if you want to know more about that you can listen to that in uh, to that uh, episode it's also just 10 minutes and so you know you can actually do cold outreach so cold outreach is that you're just going to send messages to people that you believe that might be your you know might be a good fit for you and your business but another thing that you can really do is to start building a relationship and this is really the most important one is not just you know saying hey hello i saw your profile and i think you are in the market for a 5000 euros uh, ski trip which i'm organizing and <laughs> uh, and i think yeah you can sign here there's only a few spots left yada 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 i'm sorry but i am not going to buy for you from you and also not for you. <laughs> um, so try to build that relationship you know have that long term in mind and I'm seeing this happen so often because I see people <laughs> sending me those cold messages and I'm al almost tempted sending them a message back saying is this really working for you apparently it is because else they wouldn't do it but you know start building that relationship try to find something that you both have in common and then you can say, you know, for instance, there was one person in, in Instagram uh, DMing me and she said, oh, my God, I love that pink. And I thought, OK, I can see that on your profile. Let's let's connect. Let's fo let's follow each other. You know, so that's, um, you know, try to find something that is uh, that you both have in common and you know, just have some few conversations and then another way of how to attract people instead of chasing chasing them is to create content that really speaks to them so i have created a training it's called converting content you can get it in my shop it's only 33 euros and in one hour i'm explaining how you can do that and how it's really you know intentional coming from what you want and so that actually you don't have to find any um, you know, you don't have to copy anyone, but it's just you and your unique uh, story that you're going to tell. So that's what the training is offering and also how to make it more, um, you know, time efficient. So I think you start with, you know, you, you, of course, I think, you know, you should actually send messages to pe people. You know, I'm, I'm talking about that also in, in the previous episode of, of yesterday. You actually do have to start the conversation, but don't push yourself too much, you know, and actually create a content in the way, in a way that people are kind of begging for you to allow them in. And, um, you know, that's, that's, that's so interesting uh, to see what happens, you know, and also if I'm thinking about, you know, what, what other people uh, you know how I am buying from other people is because they have something to offer that is really really valuable and I'm thinking oh I really should should do this and instead of you know just having someone say to me in, in the DMs you know what you have to buy this so try to work with that 
So once you're building the relationship, you can actually, uh, you know, start having simple conversations and then ask the people, you know, you know how are they, how they are doing, how their business is doing, and you will kind of figure out if they need something. And then, of course, yes, you can also offer something, but you know, the most important part is, you know, once you're having that sales conversations conversation with your clients. At some point, you will have to do a follow up. So imagine you're having a sales conversation and or a discovery call or however you want to call it. And you've had the conversation. You're saying something like, OK, you know what? I really liked connecting with you. I'll go back to you in 24 hours or 48 hours or a week or whatever. But then actually also go back to your clients or your potential clients and say, you know what? Um, have you thought about it? That's a question that you can ask, but you can also ask a question that you've spoken about in the discovery call saying, hey, do you want to work on this using my method? Then, you know, you're making it a little bit more interesting for them to listen to you and um, and to really think, oh, you know what? Actually, the sales is still going on and actually I really want this. So try to make it as attractive as possible for your ideal clients if they want to, if they should or want to work with you. And in the follow up, um, always, you know, don't don't say things like, hey, I'm just bumping this up in your inbox <laughs> or, hey, uh, uh, this is a reminder to no, 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 just you know, act like you're or talk like you're talking to a friend, you know, like, hey, we spoke about this earlier. Um, you know what, maybe we can, uh, do you want to talk a little bit further? Is there something unclear? You know, really be relaxed about it because I notice, you know, not just with my clients, but also I'm <laughs> seeing it happen to others that sales can be a little bit a scary thing and a scary subject, uh, but actually just doing the follow up and, you know, enjoying yourselves uh, and, um, you know, acting like it's a friend. That's such a nice way of how to do it. So with that, I want to end this sales challenge. I think you, you know, I, I'm seeing people watch. Hello. <laughs> um, but you can, uh, you can look back all the uh, trainings on Instagram, but you can also go to bureau, bureau sbb.com slash sales challenge. And uh, I will, uh, the link is in, 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 in my, in my bio. You can find it there and you can see all the all the trainings that I've given for the past week. I spoke about your ideal clients, your impeccable offer, your mindset, which is a very important one, um, act. And now I've spoken about uh, having the sales conversation, leading the conversation in the DMs like your friends. And, uh, and the fortune is really in the follow up. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this training has helped you create more sales and more opportunity and also for yourself to see more for yourself in the long term. If you're thinking, you know what, Sarah, I really like your approach. You can always send me a DM and we can talk about if I can help you or not. It's really up to you. Uh, I don't want to force you on anything. But I just really like to see if I can help you and um, yeah, if it's worth the investment. So thank you so much for watching and I wish you a very happy day and also a very nice start and a very nice weekend. All right. Bye bye. <laughs>